Hello, I'm Russell Tovey, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. Welcome to the Broadway.com show, your top stop for all the hottest stories on the Great White Way. Or, as we like to think of it, your go-to place for the latest in Miriam Shore statement jewelry. Let's get started with the news. What's the buzz, Imogen? We bet Tony Yazbek's feet aren't touching the ground. After much speculation, the triple threat has been tapped to headline the Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winning musical Finding Neverland. The Tony nominee will begin performances as J.M. Barry at the Lundfontan Theatre on January the 26th, taking over for Matthew Morrison, who will depart the production on January the 24th. The Glee Alum already has his next gig lined up, a recurring role on CBS's The Good Wife. Congratulations to them both. One of the greatest bank heist stories is headed to Broadway. The 1975 film classic Dog Day Afternoon, based on the incredible true crime story of John Watsowitz, who'd robbed a Brooklyn bank to get money to pay for his lover's sex change operation, is being adapted for the stage by Pulitzer Prize winner Stephen Adley Gerges. This is the latest exciting project in the works from Warner Brothers Theatre Ventures, which is also bringing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, as well as musical adaptations of the films Dave, Seventeen Again, and Beetlejuice to the stage. Haunting scenes of war, emotional ballads, and moving performances? Consider us intrigued. The Bloody Irish, an epic new musical about the 1916 Easter Rising in Ireland that aired on PBS this past October, will head to the Great White Way this spring. Written by Barry Devlin and featuring rearranged songs of that time period, as well as new music by David Downs, the production features a cast of 23 and explores the events that led to war against British rule in the founding of the Irish Republic. Directed by Michael Barker Caven, The Bloody Irish is expected to open at Broadway's Neil Simon Theatre with exact dates to be announced. God bless the child who has HBO. Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill, starring Audra McDonald as Billie Holiday, now has an air date. The adaptation of Lainey Robertson's play with music will premiere on March 12th. McDonald, who is returning to Broadway this season in Shuffle Along, won her history-making sixth Tony for her portrayal of Holiday in 2014. In other Broadway HBO news, Robert Schenken's Tony-winning play All the Way, which features Bryan Cranston reprising his Tony-winning performance as LBJ, will premiere on the network in May. David Beach, who was last seen on Broadway in Fish in the Dark, is set to join the cast of Something Rotten on January the 15th. The actor will take over for Brooks Ashmanskus as Brother Jeremiah at the St. James Theatre, who is off to appear in Shuffle Along. Meanwhile, across the pond, Eva Noblezada, following her star turn in the West End's Miss Saigon, and before she reprises the role of Kim on Broadway, will appear as Eponine in London's Les Mis from April the 4th. We're definitely hearing the people cheer. I'm Eddie George, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. Watching this year's Golden Globe Awards, we couldn't get enough of the occasional shot of Broadway baby Bernadette Peters, either in the starry audience or up on the stage with her Mozart and the Jungle family. We also can't get enough of this triumphant party shot of Peters holding the Amazon Show's trophy for best TV series, musical, or comedy. Yes, Hollywood, Bernadette is back, looking better than ever. Our star of the week is a two-time Tony Award winner, bona fide star of the stage and screen, and the most dazzling and determined 26-year-old we know. Sutton Foster might be the crazy busy star of TV Land's hit series Younger, which returns for its second season on January 13th and was recently renewed for a third season, but she's also one of our favorite human beings ever. Whether she's suddenly revisiting her awkward years with the hosts of The Today Show, Instagramming the most adorable pics of her pooch Mabel, or starring in our new TV obsession, we can't get enough of her. And that's why you, Sutton, are our star of the week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Broadway.com show. We'll leave you with a video of Michael C. Hall performing the title number from the late, great David Bowie's off-Broadway musical Lazarus on CBS's The Late Show. See you next time. Just like